Обожаю. Фэк. Опа. Right. Trying that again. Uh, thank you for your patience, everybody. Not exactly sure what I fixed. I just unplugged everything and plugged it back in. Then I went to my freezer and I got two ice packs and I put them on top of my capture cards to try and cool them down. It worked once before. I remember like years ago when I, this happened during a Mad Max live stream and uh, for, uh, no matter what I could do, I couldn't cool them down. And so I got some ice packs and that seemed to work, so. Yeah, my setup looks pretty goofy right now. I got a couple of ice packs just sweet squeezed in there, resting on top of them. Nothing bad will happen as they thaw, right? Like, condensation isn't going to drip down. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Anyway, I was answering your question. Um, listen, uh, so many people brought up the Kilter Films trailer that was published over a year ago, and that's a fake. And I don't think many people realize it because the person who uploaded it was dishonest and pretended that it was a real trailer from Kilter Films, and they kind of got away with it because they used a lot of official footage from Fallout 4 cinematics and then footage from Fallout fan films that were really well done and that had high production value. So many people walked away thinking that they saw the official Fallout TV show trailer. It has over a million views and it's fake. That's the trailer that has the list that mentions the tunnel snakes. It shows the NCR. It shows the Rangers. It's all fake. There's only one official trailer that was released for the Fallout TV show, and it wasn't officially released. It was shown during the Starfield launch party, and it was only like 30 seconds long, and it showed a few clips. And the screenshots that they shared in the Vanity Fair article are from the clips shown in that trailer. So, essentially... The Vanity Fair article didn't show anything new, really, that we hadn't seen already. Uh, but what was interesting about the Vanity Fair article is it did provide a lot of context because they gave us some summaries of some of the characters and some of the plot. And what I saw looked really good and interesting, and I'm excited, but it did raise some concerns, and I addressed those in the video that I published this morning. All right? Uh... And, uh, you know, that video is doing really well. I think there were many people who shared my concerns. Uh, because it's... I've, I've been going through the comments, and so many people are um, echoing what I thought and bringing up other really good points. So I just really hope that the TV show is good. I, I, I wish them the best, and I really hope it's well done. Mark from Sales says, I'm both sad and a little proud that my terrible joke wrecked the system. You're, you're going to take credit for that, huh? That's going to be yours? All right, well, you can you can definitely take credit for that one. Uh, Tiger Iski, a member for 14 months and a bronze ox with a big smiley face. Thank you so much, Tiger Iski. Mira says, right, as you went live last time, I got a call offering me full-time as an instructional instructional assistant starting next month after being a sub for five years. Congratulations, Myra. Wow, you really put in the time there, and it looks like it's paid off to be offered a full-time job like that. Wonderful, wonderful job. Congratulations. Cheng Yang says, good evening, Ox. I saw your video today. Thank you very much. It, uh, it's been doing very well, and I'm glad I got my thoughts out there. Uh, Steven Chauza says, Did you forget the Brotherhood of Steel also helped with law and order after the NCR victory at Hoover Dam? They only helped with law and order uh, under certain conditions during the events of Fallout New Vegas. You had to side with, with the NCR and you had to pass a number of speech checks to basically intimidate the Brotherhood of Steel enough to... Um, to allow them to have NCR come over them. But really, they only agree to it if the Brotherhood of... If, if the NCR gives them all their power armor. That's also in the ending slide for uh, that particular ending. Yes, you can convince the Brotherhood to provide law and order, but they only do it if they get technology, if they get all of the NCR's power armor, and obviously they only do it if they fail. Like, the only other option was destruction in that particular ending. And again, that's only one of the many endings for the Brotherhood for Fallout New Vegas. So it's that ending is not necessarily canonical. 
Really, the only caveat to everything that I said in my lore video this morning is that it does take place nine years after the events of Fallout 4. So, why is there a Pridwin on the East Coast? A Pridwin clone on the East Coast? I mean, if the Brotherhood of Steel canonically wins during the events of Fallout 4, then it's possible that they shared their blueprints prints with the uh, West Coast and that they provided technology um, or, you know, something like that. I mean, it's possible that they shared blueprints with the East Coast, I'm sorry, the West Coast beforehand and then they got destroyed. But the problem is that the raw materials that were used to construct the Pridwin were unique to uh, the, the East Coast. And... The West Coast doesn't have those raw materials, so that's where my confusion is. Lucky Babcack says, can we get a shout out to the Twitch viewers and mods? Yeah, absolutely. Good to see everybody watching on Twitch today. Twilight Phoenix Fox, Squidoro. I love seeing my Twitch followers continue to grow. That's wonderful. And thanks again to all of the mods helping out in the stream today. Tilly, Chininator, uh, and that's all I see right now, but there are probably more. Alt Grendel, probably more of you as well. Mr. Anderson gifted 50 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. That's extremely generous. I don't know if I can go through and read the names of all 50 of you, but that's extremely kind and generous. Thank you very much, Mr. Anderson. Julian Z says, uh, okay, Ox, let's try this again. Wow, I didn't know that it was a spoof. Still love the vids. Makes me excited to see your cover, the actual show, and hear your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I, I waited sp uh, on purpose. We've been hearing things leaked. We've been seeing photographs taken on set, which is before CGI and all of that. And we've heard a lot of rumors. And people have been cranking out YouTube videos talking about all this stuff for years. And I didn't want to do that. I, I didn't want to play the speculation game and start crapping on the TV show before we got anything official. But when they actually released official screen, screen uh, uh, images from the show and they started releasing official synopses and um, overviews, that's where we can provide concern and criticism. And so that's why I made my movie this morning. Uh, and, you know, but like I said, I, there's still so much about it I'm really excited for, and I'm not giving up on it. There are just a few things that really need to be clarified. Uh, I don't think anything that I brought up in the, in the video is a game changer. It just completely ruins the show for me. But they do need to talk about it. Like, they can't ignore those issues that I raise. If the NC NCR doesn't show up nine years after the events of Fallout 4 in Los Angeles, which is a territory of NCR, which is the governing force on the West Coast. If they don't even talk about the NCR, that's going to be a problem. So it's possible that they'll have this wonderful lore nugget that'll explain it all away. It's going to have to be a good one, but it's possible that they've got that. And I'm looking forward to hearing what that is. Wayne Azing says, Aloha, Oxhorn. I'm enjoying the Starfield slash Fallout content on Saturdays. Also very excited for you to play Robocop. Hardcore! Hardcore to the mega. Thank you for that one, Wayne Azing. Speaking of Disco Elysium, my brother is playing Disco Elysium for the first time. And it was funny because he came over on Thanksgiving and then he came to my office. He'll come in here and sit down and we'll smoke. And he was like, so, uh, I know you're busy with all those big games like Resident Evil and Starfield, but I found a little gem that I don't think you've ever heard of. It's called Disco Elysium, and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm like, oh, oh, Dis Disco Elysium? Oh, you mean the game that I broadcast live in 2019, that game? He was so deflated. He thought... <laughs> He thought he had found this, this unique thing that I didn't know anything about. I'm not giving him, uh, him enough credit. He was also really excited to learn that I had played it, and we got to talk about it a little bit, and we talked all about Henry and, and his story, and he's really enjoying the game. And he, he, I'm glad because uh, it's, a, it's a phenomenal game. And he's getting to enjoy the game after all of the voice recording has been made for all of the characters. Uh, we played it on my show uh, before they had recorded voice dialogue for all of the characters in the game. Only a few of the major characters had voiced lines. So he's getting to enjoy a richer, more full experience, and I envy him for that. But yeah, great game. Chevy Ward became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Chevy Ward. And wow, those 50 memberships from Mr. Anderson just keep on piling up. Alt Pendle says, Hi Ox, no jokes tonight. Here's hoping we don't get another Witcher adaptation. I agree. I mean, The Last of Us was done really well. And um, 
I think The Last of Us is an example of even when they change it, they change it for the better. Like, um, oh, what was his name? There was the one character played by Nick Offerman. Uh, he was the, was it, was it Bill? The guy who had the compound uh, that Joel was old friends with. His story in the TV show was so much richer. It was well, just a much better story than the story about Bill that was presented to us in the game. In the game, he was sort of just like an, uh, an afterthought. We stumble upon his house and uh, we get to talk to him and it's a brief moment. But they devoted an entire episode to him and his story and they made it into a wonderful, wonderful story. So that's an example of even when you change it, they change it for the better. Uh, Mobius Uroboros with a $200 uh, super chat. Holy cow. Extremely generous, Mobius. Uh, uh, thank you so much. He says, story time. One day Janet had some neighbors come over for a visit. I'm one of them. She offers them all frozen TV dinners and they politely decline. A small frown appears on her face. After 10 minutes of awkward silence and staring, she suddenly yells, get out. I'm assuming that that's a preamble and that you will continue the story in a minute because if that's the whole story, I have to admit that I don't quite understand it. I'm not quite getting it, although I do appreciate your generosity. Thank you so much, Mobius. Steven Choza says, or the Brotherhood of Steel had enough material from the crawler for a second one. Yeah, but think about the logistics of that. They had to transport wreckage from the mobile base crawler all the way from the east coast to the west coast it would make more sense to just build it there and then fly the second airship all the way to the west coast rather than transport all the materials of course we don't get any evidence of that maybe that's the answer maybe that's what they're gonna say but if that's the case then it brings up another issue because we learned from the events of Fallout 4 that Arthur Maxon pretty much packed up the entire force and moved from the Capital Wastelands, abandoning the Pentagon, the Citadel, and moving north to Boston. That's why they sent out their reconnaissance teams. They left a skeleton crew back in the Capital Wasteland. Is this skeleton crew enough to build a sister ship to the Pridwin and send it west? I guess we'll find out. Man of Warb says, or the Eastern Brotherhood of Steel built another ship and sent it west. Yeah, that, it's always a possibility, but, but it's got its own problems, as I just mentioned. Mr. Anderson, with an extremely generous super chat, holy cow, says, this man literally helped me get through a few of the worst years of my life. I'm, I'm humbled and honored, Mr. Anderson. Wow, you guys are really coming out in force today. Thank you so much, Mr. Anderson. Uh, thank you for supporting this community, and I'm so glad that you're through the woods. I plan to be here broadcasting and making Fallout content for the foreseeable future. Patrick Seve uh, Svedval uh, became a member for uh, a Silver Ox. Thank you so much, Patrick. Chevy Ward says, love watching your Fallout 4 lore videos, and that was Chevy's first super chat. Thank you so much, Chevy Ward. Wandering Paladin says, Wife, get one gallon of milk at the store. If they have apples, get six. The husband returns with six gallons of milk. The wife says, Why? And the husband says, They had apples. Logic. Pure husband logic right there. Lucky Babcack with a, a donation a, of one membership to the community. Thank you so much, Lucky Babcack, and congratulations to Patrick Krosky. Myra says, if they had come to, to you as a consultant, uh, consultant when in the timeline would you have wanted it set? And what would you have wanted some of the focus to be on? I think the timeline is pretty spot on. Had they set it between the events of any games, it would have made their, their ability to craft a narrative so much more difficult. Because not only would they have a, had to account for everything that had happened in the past, but they would have to make sure that they didn't make any decisions in the story that could have a potential impact on the future. With it set in t uh, 20, uh, 2219, 
With the story set in 2219, they don't have to worry about impacting the future of the Fallout universe, because that hasn't been written yet, and they get to write it. If they had set it between the events of Fallout 3 and, you know, Fallout New Vegas, then they would have to worry about making any change that could somehow inadvertently, negatively affect what has already been established, say, in the events of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. So, by placing it in 2219, that was smart. They did great. By placing it in Los Angeles... They've made it difficult for themselves because now they have to explain why the NCR doesn't have a strong presence in Los Angeles, how the Brotherhood of Steel went from being pretty much isolated and occupying just a couple of bunkers on the West Coast to now having this huge overpowering force. What happened to Caesar's Legion, right? Because after the events of Fallout New Vegas, they were going to go and try and raid uh, NCR territory, which includes Los Angeles, so they're going to have to say what happened to Caesar's Legion, what happened to uh, Yes Man and the robots, what's going on in New Vegas. They're going to have to address all of that because they chose to set it in Los Angeles, which is part of NCR. They could have avoided all of that by just setting it somewhere new, somewhere that we haven't been before, in the south, in the, you know, uh, near the Canadian border, right? In Montana or in Seattle. They could have placed it in a place where there had been no exploration of the storytelling and avoided so many pitfalls that they now have to address, right? Um, so I wouldn't have done that. Had I been a consultant, I would have urged them to, to set it in Seattle or in annexed Canada or maybe even somewhere in Alaska because we only visited Anchorage, Alaska during a simulation. So really, the, the, the the, we, we can certainly play ball there. I mean, they could put it in Hawaii. There are so many places that hasn't been touched by the Fallout universe that is just open for telling lore. They chose to place it in, in Los Angeles, which is it's been covered before. So they just made their jobs a little trickier. That's all. Um, uh, Thomas McCormick says, You did a good job breaking down the Vanity Fair article and raising valid concerns. Nothing in the article wasn't thoroughly vetted before release, uh, concerning to see the lore discrepancies already. <sighs> the thing is, when you're producing a television show, you can't control what people say about it. You can't, right? They released some information to Vanity Fair. They provided some interviews to Vanity Fair, but the developers of the show didn't write the article for Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair wrote the article, and Vanity Fair likely has is completely ignorant of the Fallout story. So it's possible that Vanity Fair misinterpreted what they learned about the show. I, I realize that, you know, before they published the article, they probably sent a draft to the showrunners for approval to see if there were any errors or mistakes. And clearly they said, yeah, it looks good. Go ahead and rubber stamp it. And it's also possible that they just didn't predict that geeks like me <laughs> would delve into it as deeply as we do. But they should know better because they're making a, a TV series based on a video game. And there is no audience that is more passionate about the source material than a video game audience. So... Look, uh, it's possible that the summaries that were written were really, really dumbed down. And maybe in the game, they do it, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in the show, they do address the topic of the Brotherhood being a technology cult. Maybe in the show, they do address the topic of the NCR. It's just that translating that into a Vanity Fair article would have been meaningless for most readers, and so Vanity Fair chose not to do it and to summarize it as them just being a military force trying to restore order. It's possible that that's the case. And I hope it is. I really hope they cover all of their bases. Stephen Choza says, Perhaps the Brotherhood of Steel went back to Adams and then West after the sole survivor-led Minuteman kicked their asses, hence why it took so long. Possible, but that would require them giving us a canonical ending to Fallout 4. Now, it's not beyond what they've done in the past. They did give us a canonical ending for Fallout 3. The thing is, Fallout 3 was a very different game from Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is much more like New Vegas, even though New Vegas did the possibilities of endings to a much more a varied degree than Fallout 4 did. But Fallout 4 is similar to New Vegas in that there are multiple different endings that dramatically impact the state of the territory that you leave behind at the end of the game. With Fallout 3, you either beat the game in the Brotherhood's favor or you don't beat the game. There's no siding with the Enclave here. Even if you side with President Eden, it doesn't change the ultimate ending to the game. So 
Bethesda came forward when they made Fallout 4 and decided to give a canonical ending to Fallout 3, which was ultimately the only ending of available if you played through Fallout 3. Which is why the Brotherhood of Steel was a stronger faction and was allowed to come north to the Commonwealth. The problem with giving us a canonical ending to Fallout 4 is they would then have to choose between the Railroad, the Minutemen, the Brotherhood of Steel, or the Institute, completely invalid invalidating the player choice of all of the players of that game. It's something that the developers of Fallout 2 regretted when in the strategy guide for Fallout 2, they gave a canonical ending to Fallout 1. A canonical ending in which dog meat dies. Right? <laughs> like, like, they regretted that later. And I don't remember where I heard that. Maybe I'm making it up. But I, for, there's a part of me that remembers reading an article where maybe it was Chris Avalon or somebody who worked on Fallout 2 regretted publishing a canonical ending to Fallout 1 because of the very reasons that I just stated. It invalidated player choice, which you chose to do during the events of Fallout 1. Which is why when they do talk about canonical events from previous games, they're really uh, vague. They're vague about it because they don't want to invalidate player choice. I don't think that's something Bethesda is willing to do. I could be naive here, but I think that they're aware enough about their community and how much we value the ability to tell our own stories in their game. I think they understand that enough to not want to invalidate our player choice by making a canonical ending to Fallout 4 or Fallout New Vegas, which is going to be really tricky now that they're telling a story in Vegas territory, in NCR territory. So we'll see. Uh, Mobius Urobaro says, nope, that's the whole story. It doesn't make sense because it's not supposed to. It's just a logicless joke that actually took place. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mobius. I appreciate the contribution. I really do. And thank you so much for sharing the logicless joke. I love it. Urarubraer says, I'll reserve my opinion until the show is out. Poop emoji. Thank you, Urarubraer. You are the wisest among us. You are probably uh, making a very smart move there. KT, a member for, for 11 months and a silver ox, says, Did you know a slice of pie costs like $2.50 and $1.75 in the Bahamas? Those are the pie rates of the Caribbean. The pie rates of the Caribbean. Oh, thank you for that one, KT. That's a wonderful job. Pie rates of the Caribbean. Pie in the Bahamas. Simply wonderful. The Raging Krogan says, Evening Ox, I saw your video on the Fallout TV show. Very worried it's going to be a stinker. There's a rumored Mass Effect series in the works. If they screw it up, I'd rather they not make one at all. Really? I haven't heard those rumors. I know there's a new game coming out, but I didn't hear rumors that there was a TV show for Mass Effect coming out as well. And I think you're speaking what most of us feel. I think most of us would rather live in a universe where the Halo TV show was never made, where the Witcher TV show was never made. Chininator says, uh, or the Pridwin itself was a blueprint from the West Coast Brotherhood of Steel. So the West Coast Brotherhood of Steel had predecessors of the Pridwin. Again, it's possible. We already know that the West Coast Brotherhood of Steel had a bunch of Zeppelins. None of them in Fallout Tactics look like the one that's in Fallout 4. Ultimately, that doesn't matter because the look and style... Um, of technology does vary from game to game. The power armor in Vegas, for example, even if it's the same kind, like the T-51, is, doesn't look the same or act the same as the power ar armor from Fallout 4. That said, even though they don't look the same, I can't get over the necessity of using the wreckage of the mobile base crawler. It would be one thing if they said, well, we found a steel foundry which, with a bunch of steel scrap, and we used all of that steel to manufacture this awesome Brotherhood uh, airship. But they don't say that. It's a junk ship. It's made from junk. 
from the mobile base crawler, which means that whoever designed the Pridwin kind of had to sort pieces here and there based on the inventory of junk that they had left over from the mobile base crawler. That isn't conducive to working with the blueprint. That's conducive to making it up as you go along. But again, I'm probably overthinking it. Let me get the music back on here one second. But uh, your point that's, value, that's very valid here is that they can explain it away. Just because I raised the issue and it is an issue doesn't mean it can't be explained away logically. And I look forward to finding out exactly what that logic is. Rachel says, I want an opinion on Amazon for, I'm sorry, I want an option on Amazon for director's commentary and ox commentary. Yours might be louder and more angry. Oh, dear Lord, it might be. It might be. It probably would be. Steve chose this as my guess is that the Western Brotherhood of Steel and the NCR have peace, and the Eastern Brotherhood of Steel remnants return, causing tensions, hence plot. Also a possibility, but that would require a finality to the events of Fallout 4. If the Brotherhood of Steel on the East Coast return, it means that they won. It means they're the, the winning faction in Fallout 4, which again is something I don't think they're willing to do. Rachel says, I'm sad you don't have a cameo, just sitting in a rocking chair telling stories of the early NCR to kiddos or as a vault teacher. I mean, that'd be nice. I'll let you know if they uh, call me up and offer me that role. Actually, I probably won't let you know because they would probably have me sign an, an NDA if that were to ever happen. Not that it's happened, but if it did happen, I'd have to sign an NDA. Not that I've signed one, but I would have to if they called me. Not that they have. <clears throat> Retro Wave says, looking forward to 1980s cheesy one-liners. I know, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Myra says, I have a friend who says they wish it was set in the UK or even Canada to give a bit more whole world building to see how they dealt with the fallout. Now, your friend is uh, is uh, right on the money there. there. There are many different people who feel the same way. I know why they don't do it, though. And the reason they don't do it is because of the whole Adam Punk vibe, which is rooted in... Americana. It's rooted in Coca-Cola. It's rooted in googie architecture. It's rooted in a lot of things that are very, you know, steeped in American 1950s culture. So if you take a game that's rooted in that sort of atom punk vibe and you put it somewhere outside of America, it, it might ring hollow, if that makes sense. Um, that's probably why they don't do it. Not that I wouldn't love to see what the rest of the world looks like during the events of um, the Fallout universe. Adam M. says, didn't the NCR get nuked? I mean, they did if you nuked them during the events of Fallout, Fo uh, Fallout New Vegas. It, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the Lonesome Road DLC, you have an option to nuke the West Coast, all of NCR territory, including Los Angeles, and or nuking Legion territory. And you can see the nukes from miles away. Of course, another option is to not nuke them at all. So maybe they got nuked in your game, but your game ending might not be the canonical game ending. But this raises another point because they set the game in Los Angeles. This question is now needing to be answered. What is the canonical game ending for Fallout New Vegas? If it's set in Los Angeles, we now know that your game ending where you nuked the West Coast didn't happen. And that's a problem, they, which they could have avoided by setting it someplace else. Man of Warb says, two-part joke. A rich woman walks into her bedroom and notices one of her servants there. She sits on her bed and says, You! Take my shoes off. The servant does so. She then says, take off my dress. The servant does so. Oh, and that's where it ends. No, it continues in another subsequent super chat. The lady then says, take off my negligee. And the servant does so. The lady finally says, next time I catch you wearing my clothes, you're fired. Am I clear? Ah, I see. Okay. It was getting a little saucy. I mean, it, it still ended a little saucy, but it's, it was less saucy than I initially thought. Less employer abuse going on there. <clears throat> Wandering Paladin says maybe it is the Pridwin. It is the Pridwin, so they're giving us either the Brotherhood of Steel or Minutemen peaceful endings as canon, but also Amazon makes its own canon for stuff. I, I mean... Could be, maybe, except they give it a name other than Pridwin. If it was the Pridwin, they would call it the Pridwin, but they took the extra step to call it the Caswanon. It's not the Pridwin, it's the Caswanon. 
Why would you do that? Unless it really was a different ship. Uh, but what we do know is that um, Todd Howard has come out and said that the show will be canonical. It's a new story. It's set in the Fallout universe, and it is canonical. And that's it. That's I mean, we can wish it won't be all we want, but it's not up to us. It's up to the owners of the IP, and they're saying it's going to be canonical. So let's cross our fingers and hope that it's really thoughtfully well done. Ryan68 with a, st a sticker tip. Thank you so much, Ryan68. The Raging Krogan, a silver ox and a member for 25 months, says, Speaking of Mass Effect, did you see the new N7 Day teaser to Mass Effect 5? A lot of people think it is hinting at Shepard's return. I mean, it would be really hard to make a new Mass Effect game without Shepard. Uh, that said, I, I didn't see it. I didn't actually see it, but uh, I'm excited to. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. Chininator says, uh, respectfully, probably overthinking it. I did get that a lot in the comments of my video this morning. A lot of people were really, you know, um, interested in the issues I brought up. And a lot of other people were like, oh my god, Ox, you're just overthinking it. Shut up. Just let people enjoy things. I'm like, all right, all right. Was for Ignore me. You enjoy it as long as you're happy. Stephen Chosa says, or again, they lost and pull a brave Sir Robin ran away, bravely ran away, away, in a reserved airship they built with excess crawler materials. Again, they would have to really explain that well, because none of that is in Fallout 4. They would have to just do a retcon and say, oh, oh yeah, the Fallout 4 Brotherhood had an extra airship in the back burner there. Just, it was in reserve. They just kept that on the side. And yeah, you know, the railroad destroyed the hydrogen tanks in the Pridwin, causing it to crash to the earth in a big ball of fire. But there were survivors, and they just went aboard this other airship and went to the West Coast. I mean, it would be very difficult for me to believe that. It's, again, possible, but unlikely. Carpy, a member for 32 months under Silver Rock, says, What do you call a dog that was born with no legs? It really doesn't matter. He's not coming. Like, you can't call a dog with no... All right, that's true. I mean, he could roll. Like a sausage rolling downhill. Just Blue Thunder says, How many games you haven't touched yet, Ox? I mean, a lot of them, I'm sure. I I've played a lot of games on my channel, uh, to your point. But uh, there's a lot that I haven't. Squidoro on Twitch says, Hi, Oxhorn. Huge fan. What was one of the best cigars you've ever had? Gosh, that's a hard, uh, that's a hard question to answer. I think my chat uh, on Twitch isn't updating. Let me restart it. Uh, the thing is, I, I don't really remember the names and the brands of the cigars. Um, I can say that Brick House is a pretty solid cigar. I enjoy it every time I smoke a Brick House. All right, trying to reboot my Twitch chat here. Oh, dear. There we go. It's working now. Sorry if you've been talking on Twitch. I might not have seen you, but now it's working. Jay Han Chen on Twitch says, so how did you cook the turkey? Was it spatchcocked? I mean, after the result that I got, I did have regrets. I probably should have spatchcocked it. But I didn't. I didn't. I just, uh, I put it in the oven and it got a little crispy on the outside, but it was edible. It was an edible turkey. Mogster says, welcome back. Thank you very much, Mogster. Good to see you in the chat today. Steven Choza says, or the Minutemen shot the hell out of them. And who says they didn't have the backup ship stored at Adams? The world help explain that uh, that would help the explain the nine year gap. Yeah, I mean, who's to say they don't have two Liberty Primes, too? And mechs. Who's to say they don't have mechs or like submarines? 
Did they say they didn't have a submarine during the events of Fallout 4? They didn't. So who's who's to say? The problem with this this line of thinking is it can explain literally everything. And there are things you just don't do because they're not within the con they're not within the character of the Brotherhood of Steel, nor are they within reasonable reality, right? So having a backup airship that you just don't mention during the events of Fallout 4 is unreasonable. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's a nice thing to pull out of your hat when you need one, but it still feels like a magic trick. LAFC fan with uh, his first super chat. Thank you so much, says Ox. The NCR is in the show. In one of the leaked images, there is a classroom that has an NCR flag on a flagpole in the corner of a room. That's great. I haven't seen that image. Are you sure it's the NCR flag and not the California flag? Because they are very similar. Did you see two heads on the bear? Or was there just one? Or could you not see because it was um, furled? But uh, I do hope that they have the NCR. I'm glad they didn't overlook it if that's the case. GT Boy with a cheers. Cheers, GT Boy on Twitch. Jay Henshin says the Brotherhood of Steel has unicorns. Who's to say? I know, right? It's a muted, mutated landscape out there. FEV can do anything. Who's to say that the Brotherhood of Steel isn't riding magical unicorns into battle? Did they say they didn't? FEV. Hell of a drug. Dan Dang Done It says it's definitely in the NCR. Okay, great. I'm thrilled to hear that they include the NCR in the show. Blue Thunder on YouTube says, okay, first, thanks for playing Robocop in your request list. And second, I found another game you might be interested in, a World War I strategy game called Last Train Home, a mix of Company of Heroes and Frostpunk. Ooh, I really enjoyed Frostpunk. I think I played it on the program once a while ago. I'm going to make a note of this. It's called Last Train Home. Awesome. Thank you so much, Blue Thunder. Chininator says, I'm a Navy vet. Aircraft carriers have two nuclear reactors. They only needed one for the Pridwin. Whole aircraft carriers have two nuclear reactors. How many nuclear reactors do aircraft carriers that have lasted for 200 years and also split in half and has been rotting, rusting wreckage for 200 years in the Capital Wastelands have? Also, one of them had to be repaired by none other than... Um, Oh, God, what's her name? Why can't I remember? I'm having a mind blank right now. Lynn. What? What's her name? Anyway, um, the, th the, the entire, the, one of the major plots for Rivet City during the events of Fallout 3 is that the reactors weren't wor working and they had to be repaired. And, uh, God, what's her name? I know it too, and she's such a major character. I've done lore videos about her, and I can't remember her name. Anyway, yeah, it's definitely possible, but we also have to bear in mind that 200 years in Rust happened, so. Could have lost. Madison Lee! Thank you! Oh my god. <sighs> so frustrated when that I'm getting old. Look at this! It's happening live! I'm on camera, and I'm getting old! Madison Lee. Thank you. Man of Warb says, just finished a cyberpunk corporate playthrough. Had to do quite some thinking as to the most appropriate ending that Corpo V could take. I decided on the Penthouse slash Crystal Palace heist ending. Well, well done, Man of Warb. I tried to explore all of the possible endings in my playthrough of cyberpunk. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing Phantom Liberty at some point. Rachel says, Ox, is YouTube letting you make new badges yet? One month out from five years. Thank you very much, Rachel. Uh, not yet, but I'll definitely take a look and see if I can get some new ones made. Derek May says, Ox, love the Fallout video always. We know the East Coast and West Coast talk, so maybe they sent the blueprints to the West Coast and maybe they opened up recruiting to all. The Brotherhood of Steel might be bigger now. So, opening up recruiting to all would definitely explain why the Brotherhood of Steel is a lot bigger. 
In fact, I think that they're just going to have to do that. There's no way they can tell a story where the Brotherhood of Steel is a major militarized faction in Los Angeles, which is an NCR territory, unless the Brotherhood changed their policy and did open up recruitment to all, which is ultimately what both Lyons and Elder Maxson had to do on the West Coast, I'm sorry, the East Coast, in order for the faction to get as big as it did. The second part to that, um, sending blueprints to the West Coast, only answers part of it. You can have blueprints in your hand, but if you don't have the raw materials necessar necessary to insert into the blueprints or to use the blueprints to actually create what's there, it doesn't do you any good, right? You could have a recipe for a 3D printing masterpiece, but unless you have the plastic stuff and a 3D printer, it's not going to work. And that's the problem with the idea of a blueprint. It was made from the scrap of the mobile base crawler, which was a unique vehicle that had high-tech enclave technology in it, which is what allowed them to make the Pridwin. Blueprints or no, you gotta have to explain where all of that raw material came from if you're building another airship called the Caspanon, which looks just like the Pridwin. The Raging Krogan says part one of a joke. A conspiracy theorist dies and goes to heaven. He's met by God who welcomes him. Part two, God says to him, I'm sure there are many questions you want answered. And the theorist, a theorist says, who really killed JFK? Die and go to heaven. And that's, that's what you ask God. Love it. Stephen Chauza says it definitely has two heads. Okay, that's great. I'm glad to hear the NCR is in the show. Shadow787 says the Pridwin can transform into a bigger Liberty Prime. Who's to say it can't? Did they say it couldn't in the, in the game? No, no. So that possibility is open, right? If they didn't say that it couldn't, then that's my headcanon. Nick says, let your headcanon be that the TV show is a divergence from the game world as the game world is a divergence from ours. I don't do headcanons, especially when Todd Howard comes out and says this, this show is canonical. I, I'm sorry, I just don't do headcanon, so I've got to go with what is actually canonical in the universe. Tilly gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Tilly, and congratulations to Dale Schumacher, Defcon, Dave D, Ray Posadas, and El Rondorio. Thank you, Tilly. Mr. Virus says, you trolled me so hard when I suggested Spatchcock. Well, look, if that's what you want to do to dead turkeys... That's up to you. I'm not going to judge. I'm, you know, pretty you know, restrained when it comes to dealing with dead animals, right? I'll, I'll bury it or cook it. If you want to spatch... Look, I'm not going to judge. That's fine. You do you in the privacy of your own home, Mr. Virus. <clears throat> The Raging Cro uh, No, I, said, I read that one already. Lunar Knox says, What about the submarine that we find on Fallout 4 with the Chinese ghoul? Maybe the Brotherhood used that. Yeah, maybe. Why not? Did they say that they didn't? No, they didn't. Maybe the Brotherhood just killed all of the Chinese ghouls and stole the nuclear submarine to make another Pridwin. It's possible. Of course. Stephen Choza says, Would Navarro or the ruined oil rig have material? An the ruined oil rig wouldn't because... It blew up and sank to the bottom of the Pacific. So they didn't get anything from that. Uh, Navarro was actually already raided. Um, uh, and who was it that told me that? It was, it was the Enclave Remnants said that Navarro was raided. And I think it was raided by the NCR, not the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood did get the Vertebrate Blueprints. Um, from Navarro. But then it was, and I did an entire video on this, and I'm forgetting the details. I'd have to refresh my memory, but I believe it was uh, the NCR who went in, into Navarro and took all of the technology there. So the Brotherhood didn't get, get their hands on it. David Goranson says, I'm with you, Ox. The bastardization of all the movies and games I grew up with makes me sick. It's all grift. Look at the Star Wars flops. Well, this is one of the reasons why I didn't get into Star Wars. It's, it's just too much at this point. Too much. Cheng Yang says, here's my theory of how Virgil escaped the Institute. I think Virgil entered the old robotics that connected to bioscience, grabbed one protectron, and used the relay and made his way to the glowing sea. 
Well, I mean, there are only two ways in and out of the Institute. The relay and then the pathway through old robotics that leads to the river. Which we don't discover until we choose either the Minuteman uh, or the railroad ending. So it has to be one of those two options. Fishkey says, happy scotch and smoke rings, Oxen Chat. One trivia and glad to be here. Hey, congratulations on a winning trivia night, Fishkey. The Raging Krogan says, here's part three. God says, there is no conspiracy. Lee Harvey Oswald shot JFK. Uh, by the Texas School Depository. And the theorist says, wow, this must go higher than I thought. <laughs> Lovely joke. Thank you, the Raging Krogan. A, a drama in three parts. Just Rice says, Perhaps it is the Pridwin. After all, or after an ending in Fallout 4, where the Brotherhood was forced to exit the Commonwealth and fl flies back west and was thus recommissioned. Just a wild guess. I mean, the only way that would work is if you either sided with the Brotherhood or you sided with the Minutemen while keeping the Brotherhood alive. That's the only option that allows the Brotherhood to still exist after the end of Fallout 4, which would give them the means or opportunity, at least, to move back to the West Coast. But that doesn't make sense because if they just, if, if we chose the Brotherhood option, they just won a war in the Commonwealth. The last thing they're going to do is then abandon it and travel back to the West Coast. They're going to enjoy the fruit of their labor and occupy Boston to get as much technology from it that they can, which is what they did in the Capital Wasteland. After they won there, they stayed there for 10 years, rebuilding their faction, taking all technology, and occupying the Capital Wasteland. So really, the only ending that makes sense where they might leave is the Minuteman one. They find themselves not destroyed, but also no longer in power and without the will to just fight the Minutemen for all of the technology in the Commonwealth. Again, that seems out of character for them, but... I suppose stranger things have happened. Nixter says, oceans don't say much. Usually they just wave. Thank you so much, Nixter. Man of Warb says, Nomad 5 would happily ride off into the desert with Pan Am and her clan. Street Kid, v oh, Nomad V, right, I, I said 5. Street Kid V would take Arasaka Zaffer because they're street smart enough to spot individual hustlers, but will fall short for a corporate con. That makes a lot of sense. Good role-playing there. Scott David Tyrrell on Facebook says, I'm not used to hard liquor, but I was wondering what's a good scotch to start with. I mean, if you're not used to hard liquor, scotch is really not a good alcohol to start with because scotch is powerful. It's, it's rich. It's peaty. It just assaults the senses. It takes some getting used to. I would probably try a sweet rum, like a... Uh, now, Captain Morgan is a bit too... Definitely not like Smirnoff, but maybe Kraken would be a good thing to start with. And then a whiskey, like um, Jack Daniels, I think. Wade Speakerman says, My friend Sarah left her Pepsi 60 miles south of Tampa. It's where Sarah's soda is. A geography joke? Sarasota? My fire is so weak. Thank you for that one, Wade Speakerman. Scorpion Taz says, which Fallout lore is deeper, east or west? West. I mean, three games have been made on the west. Two games have been made on the east. With West Virginia somewhere <laughs> in there. Um, so definitely the western lore. Steve Choza says, as for the Western Brotherhood of Steel, I guess the NCR winning at Hoover Dam meant the NCR had no diversions in their war, forcing them to make peace be a change? I don't really understand what you're trying to say there, Stephen. 
They canonically won the first Battle of Hoover Dam, but their resources were stretched thin across the Mojave, and they were trying to assemble enough resources to win the second Battle of Hoover Dam. But we have to remember that after talking to the NCR soldiers and the people working there, their biggest complaint was that NCR in in NCR territory wasn't sending enough resources to the Mojave. That many of the citizens of the NCR were really war-weary with what was going on in the Mojave because they were sending their sons and daughters off to the Mojave to die. NCR territory itself wasn't harmed. They were still a very rich nation in California. It's the Mojave where they were stretched thin, and it's the Mojave that was suffering for resources simply because California lacked the will to send those resources to the Mojave. Um... I mean, the NCR on the West Coast had a president. It had a Congress. It was a legit form of government, which is why one of the quotes from one of the developers was so weird because he flat out said that there was no government, no federal government, which is wrong. It's not true, which again could have just been a misquote maybe or the Vanity Fair article didn't get it right or maybe the author just forgot for a moment there that the NCR existed. Derek May says, let's just set up for a civil war, Ox. I've been saying NCR versus East Coast Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe the West Coast stole tech from the Chi, uh, the Chi in San Francisco. If the NCR still exists on the West Coast, and if the Brotherhood of Steel gets more powerful, I don't think it's possible to avoid a war between those two factions, really. I think the only way that there's going to be peace in California is if the Brotherhood stays weak. If the Brotherhood doesn't change their policies, if they continue to only recruit from within and they stay small and quiet and underground, the moment they start changing their policies and actively recruiting and becoming more militarized and increasing their army from within NCR territory, it's inevitable that the NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel is going to, to clash. It'll be interesting to see how they address the Shi, but then again, the Shi are in San Francisco and this show takes place in Los Angeles, so they might not necessarily touch on that. Um, and also, they would have to tell us that the Brotherhood of Steel just destroyed the Shi and took their technology. But again, you know, we have no lore precedent for that. So it's possible, but we have no precedent for it. David Garanson says, Indiana Jones series ruined by the last three movies. Star Trek, all good, but became tainted by the Picard series. Doctor Who becomes politicized. I'm sad. Yep, we, uh, we wait long enough, and we get old enough, and everything we cherished in our youth just begins to crumble away. Ian Chamberlain says, Have you seen Jefferson's Ocean Aged at Sea Blended? Is that a drink? Or a show? I can't tell. I guess the answer is no. I haven't seen it. Adam M. says, The Brotherhood of Steel con uh, converts Prime to Gundam and wipes out the Enclave and the NCR. I mean, the Enclave has already been wiped out and destroyed, but yeah, a bunch of, you know, Gundam Pridwin transforming vehicles. I mean, they didn't say it didn't happen. If they didn't say it didn't happen, I mean, the possibility is always there. SZY with their first super chat says, Hey Ox, thank you for making storytelling immersive. Love your Fallout 4 content. Watching your lore videos helps me calm down, especially since I suffer from anxiety. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. Thank you, SZY. I'm so pleased to be here and to make uh, continuing to make content that helps you out. I don't plan to leave anytime soon. All right, we've got a few more minutes, especially including the beginning of the broadcast, which had, uh, I had to spin off as its own video. Wade Speakerman says, Oxhorn, I only eat eggs Benedict on disposable plates in my house. I love to be foam for the hollandaise. God, Wade, Wade. <laughs> what, what, you're just on fire today with the awful, awful puns. I only eat eggs Benedict on disposable plates. I love to be foam for the hollandaise. It's it's so bad. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Wade. Random Wastelander says, what's your scope as a RoboCop fan? 
I've been a RoboCop fan for less than four hours. I never watched the movies growing up because I was too young when they came out and I wasn't allowed to watch them and then they fell off my radar. I rented RoboCop 1 and RoboCop 2 today and I watched RoboCop 1 a couple of hours ago and I got about halfway through RoboCop 2 before I started the broadcast. So that's where I am. And I loved it. It was It's cheesy and it's dated, definitely, and steeped in 1980s one-liners. One -liners. It was great. It was tongue-in-cheek. Like, they had a bunch of really awful commercials <laughs> that made the RoboCop universe look like this corporate hell hellscape. It was hilarious and gory and violent. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the game today. Steven Chosa says maybe the Brotherhood of Steel gets a more sensible High Elder who makes peace and makes other reforms. Yeah, I mean, that would be great. Maybe they did. I mean, Lions did it. The thing is, there's more than one elder on the West Coast. As we learned from the events of Fallout 1, um, Maxon in Fallout 1 was only one of the many elders, right? In fact, it was a it was a part of the plot where Maxon really wanted to give you power armor and to send soldiers to help you fight off uh, the super mutants at um, the military base <clears throat> at Mariposa, but he had to convince the other elders, so he wasn't all powerful. The difference between the West Coast Brotherhood and the East Coast Brotherhood is that the East Coast power structure is all under the umbrella of one person. It is an authoritarian dictatorship, ship, military dictatorship under one man. It was in Fallout 4 under Arthur Maxon, and honestly, it was in Fallout 3 under Elder Lyons as well. Everyone just did what he said. There wasn't a council that he reported to. He was the head honcho. What he said goes. On the West Coast, there's a council of elders, and they're all equal. So having one elder rise to power and just blanket state a bunch of reforms to the Brotherhood to make them something that they weren't, it's possible but unlikely. The entire council of elders would have to go along with it. Wade Speakerman says the acid death is one of the greatest ever. It was hilarious because what was it was at a it was at a, a steel mill. No, it was it was at a mill, and there's just this big vat of acid. <laughs> this is a random vat of acid, nameless acid. It's not labeled. They don't know what kind of acid it is. And then the bad the bad guy just drives a car into it. He gets covered in acid, and then he crawls out mutated with like an extra lip and flipper paws. <laughs> It was brilliant. It was just great. I loved it. Deuteronomist says it was toxic waste. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was toxic waste. At a steel mill. Not like a nuclear plant. No. Toxic. A huge... Car-sized vat of toxic waste just sitting out at a rusting steel mill. Only in the 80s, man. <laughs> okay. I think it's about time. Let me find it and fire it on up. There we go. Ooh, that was loud. Alien Face says Terminator Resistance is made by the ones who did Robocop. Both are every great game, so I hope you give it a try. All right, maybe I will. Thank you. Ranker1138 says, I'd buy that for a dollar. You know, it's, it's just the brilliance of the guys who wrote RoboCop because they wrote that line and it, they purposefully made it not funny without any context and just turned it into a one-liner and it worked. We're all saying, I'd buy that for a dollar 20 years later or however many, 30 years later. God, it was, this came out in 1987. I'm crying out loud. All right, let me get the lights out.
I really hope they have all of the zany RoboCop 1 commercials in this game. Daniel Holmes says, did you record your reaction to RoboCop? No, I mean, it's, it's hard because I can't really monetize that. I mean, I suppose I could. There are so many YouTubers and Twitch streamers who just film their reactions to other people's content and to videos and stuff. And I don't know, it's just not my kind of thing. So I, I did not record myself. Sam S. on YouTube says, Have you ever considered playing The Forest or Son of the Forest? I've been wanting to play it, but can't because I have an Xbox and not a PC. Though they look fun and enjoyable. You know, I played The Forest briefly when it came out years ago, and I was underwhelmed. Um, that said, I know it's undergone many improvements since then, so maybe I should try it. Darkington says rewatching RoboCop 1 and 2 improves the experience. That's why I did. Play. New game. Easy, normal, hard. I don't know, guys. You think I can do this on hard? Extreme, says Andy. Only for hardcore players. Oh, uh, no. I, I can't do extreme. But I might be able to do hard. Ranker1138 says, hashtag Grandpa Gaming. Right, that's it. I'm going hard. That's how Fallout 1 opens. You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Right. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Oh. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your oh, life. Oh. Uh. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. 
We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Okay. So Nuke is alive and well. I didn't finish Fallout or RoboCop 2, so I'm not sure how that story resolved. I got to the part where the the kid and what's his name stopped making Nuke, so I guess I'm curious as to how Nuke is still made in the game. <laughs> Iconic! Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. Getting a little bit of screen tearing on my end, but it doesn't look like it's translating to the show. So I'm not going to worry about it. Shaking. Judgment day is here. Oh, cockroaches! Yuck! Oh, they make Detroit look awful in the show. Hey, handsome, we're here for the show. Go get him, Robo. Yeah, I'm gonna go get him. Just another day in old Detroit. I'm telling you, this town is going to hell. Like we're not there already. I can see your lady is still quite shaken up. I'll get one of the paramedics to check on her. Oh, don't, don't bother. She's only Jonesy. I wouldn't bother. I already ran the plates. You should know by now, when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. All right, making sure I'm getting like all this, the scenes. We're gonna run short of body bags. Someone just flew out of a, uh, a, a high-rise window. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's swap. No, no, I'm good. Tilly says, Ox, you missed the new subs from Adam M. Did I? Sorry. Let me see if I can alt-tab here. Uh, Adam M gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Adam M. And congratulations to uh, Quilt Can't Be, Jeremy M, Haggis Addict, Harley Lee Bradford, and Dirty Bird Person. Thank you so much. Man of Warb says, if you've seen Robocop 2, you'd recognize a familiar concept, lacing a psychopath's brain in a robot body. Well, I mean, that definitely happened in, Ro in Robocop 2, but don't give me any spoilers to the game. I haven't played it yet. John M says, assisted mode. No, thanks, John M. Cutscene. We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, after that, over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. 
Who do you think is going to clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. <laughs> you sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! Oh my god. She says to the janitor. There you are, partner. Hey! Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! So no hard feelings! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, I knew you'd beautiful. say something like that. <laughs> it's, it's Anne. It's the same actress from the show. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. Ha uh, ha ha. Man of Warp says what I meant was that Robocop 2 created a robo brain before Fallout did. Ah, oh, I see. I've got a signet ring. How much do you think I can get for it? Is it gold? It was taken off someone famous. Just look at him. He looks kind of familiar. <sighs> guys, guys! We've got company. Anyone expecting a silver freak? So, I'm guessing there's no stealth in the game? Drop it, scum. <laughs> Vision to investigate individuals. All right, the the music is really loud. Hold on, let me let me turn the the music down a little bit. Let's put that on. Let's put it on seventy five. It's still really loud. <laughs> let's put the music on fifty. Sounds really loud. Okay, so this is the sort of game where we gotta explore every corner for like secrets and power-ups and stuff. Or do I just keep going? Because it's not like this guy's very agile. I don't think he has a role. Oh, hello. I don't think he can evade. That's how I heal. That's it. 
Warning. All personnel. Delta City. Evacuate immediately. For our children. They were trying to build Delta City at the beginning of, uh, or at the end of the first Warning. one, I believe. All personnel. Leave immediately. Worried about the weight limit? 2,000 pounds per person. Lewis, you're here. <laughs> we need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. Adam M says, I saw a streamer mode. Chat says the music is copyrighted. Ooh. Okay. Streamer mode. On. Oh, I should have done that. Crap. They sabotage the elevators in staircase two. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. You hang back, partner. I, Robocop, shall take lead. What is this? Lore, stolen wallet. Oh, it's crime evidence. Oh. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here. Hint program, press H to heal yourself. Will do. Oh. Nuke. Crime evidence. OCP recovery charge. Oh, that gave me one of my health back. Nice. Watch out, he's coming! Oh. Oh. Any more tricks up your sleeve? I will What a warm welcome, don't you think? Kill that freak! Any other loot? Sorry, the Fallout player within me is, is kicking in. Hold on, hold on, loot. Fake money. I guess the word counterfeit was too long for the game. Press right click to use Robocop vision to investigate individual suspects. Cause of death, nuke overdose. Deal a powerful punch with your fist by pressing F.
did not expect such a big crowd. Sure is a lot of them. Incriminating documents. All right. Restore power to elevators. Wait, where's the other ammo? I thought I saw more SMG ammo lying around. I guess I'm wrong. Ooh, what is that? Assault rifle. Yeah. Objects investigation. You can use RoboCop vision to investigate objects or people to find clues. Investigatable objects are marked with Pwah? Press right click while looking at Pwah? to investigate them. Short circuit detected. I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. The bubble gum. <laughs> you are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. That's great. She fixed the short with They're the holding gum. everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. Ooh, what a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. What was that? I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. He saw his own reflection before he became Robocop. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back! Oh my god! 
scumbag. <laughs> Scumbags. <laughs> it's like the worst insult that he can throw. Grab. Oh, yeah. I can throw monitors. Oh, great. I gotta get another monitor. Oh, hold on. I gotta let me get another monitor. I got throw a monitor. Yeah. Oh man, I wanna get another monitor. Hold on. Get a monitor. Yeah. Ah, I've got monitors of death. <laughs> yep. Yeah, another one. These things might as well be bombs. I'm throwing missiles. Well, they, they were less effective than I had hoped, but they were fun. <laughs> Incriminating pictures. I'm getting all the loot here. Ooh, stolen handbag, fake ID card. Look at all of this evidence. Okay, and I got all the monitors, yay! Oh, I got another one! Oh. Okay, I gotta stop farting around here. Okay, enough monitors. I'm I'm dying here. <laughs> I want more ammo. I like this gun. It's great, but I want more ammo. Yeah. Incriminating documents. Lots of SMGs, but not a lot of ammo for the assault rifle. Hey! Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I needed. <laughs> it worked! Yay! I killed one with a monitor. Oh, I can just walk through glass. Of course I can, I'm a Robocop. Robocop is in town. I got a sprint. Oh man. I got a hit. Hey, perk magazine. Oh. Oh, it's not a perk magazine. Cooking, yummies in the shell. Oh crap! Oh crap, hold on, I'm getting lagged.
I've got red on my monitor here, and I don't have an explanation. Um, I'm going to keep playing through it and hope that it resolves itself. And hope that it's temporary. Oh, I can grab a TV. Get out of here. I can break it, but I can't jump out. Hello. Scan results, strong antidepressants. It's still red. Hostage situation. When you face criminals who have taken hostages, you have only a few seconds to eliminate the threat and protect the innocent. Use your extraordinary reflexes to meet this challenge. Oh crap, I just picked up a monitor. Okay. We go. Extraordinary reflexes. <laughs> Duck on it. I lost a hostage. Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. I lost a hostage. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen, requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. Okay, it's still red on my monitor, which is really bad news. It should have resolved itself by now. I don't understand why this is happening. If it doesn't resolve itself soon, I'm gonna have to call it a night. That did. I don't know if I like this gun. That super zoom is uh, actually kind of distracting. They don't have loot in crates. Gaming lied to me.
All right, chat is saying that it looks stable to them. On my end, I still see red on my monitor, so I'm a little, I'm still concerned. Torchhead! Retro Wave says Zox, you can pick up bad guys and throw them? Really? I'm gonna kill you for this. Can I? Maybe living bad guys, but not dead ones. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I can't pick them up. All right, chat seems to say that it's working, even though I still have red on my monitor, so I guess I'll keep going until you guys say that um, the connection is unstable again. Town says, Ox, have you found the secret room? No. Is there a secret room? Oh man, you're gonna have me hunting for a secret room. What does it look like? Now I'm just searching for a secret room. I mean, it could be anywhere. All right, I'm not gonna keep looking. I'm gonna go now. Hold on, <clears throat> my cigar's out. Good news, my monitor is green which means I've got a stable connection. You guys saw it before I did. Well, that's good.
Uh-oh. 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 Darling, could you get the napkins from the cupboard? Oh, no. Sure thing, Mom. What are we having? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? Do I really have to? I wasn't playing in the dirt. Of course you do. No more discussion. Darn. What about Dad? Is he gonna be back for dinner? <clears throat> Murphy's exploring a film set of a domestic house and he's having a flashback to his life before he became Robocop. Secret room? Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? I'm teleporting. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer just like his dad. Oh my god, I got two hostages killed! Hey! No sudden moves, cop! I'm not dying here! Get me another one of those choppers, like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, Shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to Nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds! Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? Woo! Oh, and she's filming. Crap. What does it want? Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please, calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Clell Big says Ox didn't do very well. I'm playing on hard. I'm playing on hard and what? I I got three three hostages killed. Three out of fifteen. I I got most of them. Yeah, let's three hostages. Not many. Three. Apex Cove says, I'm sure they had it coming. Yeah, they were the bad ones. I can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? 
Get back in line. Hey, he looks They're just here. like the guy. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. <laughs> this was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. <laughs> Jeez. But she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. I really need to finish Robocop too. Everyone because... is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. Because, um... From the events of the second game, it seemed like the old man was the bad guy, and yet he's still here in charge of the company. So I really need to finish the second one. Uh, police going private. Hey, Lore! All right. <clears throat> Motor City is the first city where the police are owned by a private corporation, Omni Consumer Products, OCP, a mega corporation specializing in security, space, healthcare, rehabilitation, military, and data storage and transfer. Says that they will not stop there. They are interested in taking over the police of other metropolises, including Baltimore and Chicago. What do they have to offer? Excellent management and access to the latest technology. Will this convince more authorities to put their law enforcement forces in private hands? More on page six. Okay, I need to go that way, but let's finish exploring the rest of this police sink, or this police headquarters precinct. New objective added, stinky situation. Hold Q to track. Talk to Officer Estavez. Side quest. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Pick up the drunkard! Yay! Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. To the drunk tank! I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Oh, the shooting range! Just like in the film. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Oh. Sleep Can I... tight. <laughs> Can I close the door? No. Robo Pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! T 
Tilly says, I'm sure that is what Todd Howard said too. Just an isolated glitch. You know, isolated glitches happen. You just, you just can't, can't blame them for just an isolated glitch. Daily highest score, Cecil, 63. Okay, we're on round four. Round five. How high can we go? Round six, God, does this ever end? Round seven, jeez, it just keeps going. Oh man, I got to round seven. Okay, oh, not too bad, could be worse. Hey, daily highest score, Robocop, yay. It's me, I'm Robocop. I guess in the roar. So can I leave the police the police station at any time? I guess I need to get my next quest first. And then come down here to leave the police station. What is this? Uh, an office in a shipping container. Wow. Things are tough for the Detroit Police Department. Sir. Hi, Murphy. Murphy. Hi there, guy.
You know what? I bet you I'll come back to all of these places later during the course of the game. Oh. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go up. Chief's office. Oh. The new guy. New big boss in town. Locker room. I need to get patched up. I've got shattered glass God here. damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. New objective, locked and loaded. Talk to Officer Ramirez. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Yeah. Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? <laughs> they wanted you to be safe out there. <laughs> yeah, you guys, very fun. Very good day. Yeah, they've got unisex locker rooms in uh, the RoboCop universe, much much like the uh, Starship Troopers universe. Though this came out first, so I, pose, I suppose Starship Troopers um, was inspired by it, perhaps. Okay, here we go. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. That's me. Here's my bed. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. Nice. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems, so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. Um, now at the, uh, well, halfway through the second game, he, um, I'm sorry, the second movie, he managed to remove all of his um, um, directives. So I really need to finish the second movie to see why they can control him like this again. TV station secret one found, TV station secret two found, all hof office hostages saved, zero XP. <laughs> Pieces of crime evidence collected, 500 XP. Well, at least I got that. Ghost rating. B. Yeah, could be better. Oh. So here's my skill tree. Each time you achieve a new level, you receive a skill point that can, that can be used to develop your skills. Developing skills allows you to increase efficiency, obtain unique perks, and unlock favorable dialogue options. Press K to open the skill tree. Okay, we've got combat, armor, 
vitality. Okay, so as we keep going, we unlock new perks. Engineering. Dash allows you to ram into enemies or quickly escape danger. Cracking allows you to open any safe without knowing the combination. You can also reprogram enemy turrets. And enhanced dash reduces the cooldown of dash. Slow motion. Enhanced critical damage. Enhanced slow motion. Ricochet. Let's you hit enemies behind cover by bouncing bullets off of certain spots. Ooh, okay. Instant scanner. Robocop vision instantly marks every enemy in sight. Wow. Okay. And then ricochet split. Ricocheting bullets split and hit more enemies. Deduction. Enhanced scanning. Uh, lets you more often detect helpful hints or helpful information such as safe combinations or discover hidden objects in rooms. Uh, yeah, I want that. Enhanced map. Marks the locations of valuable items or data on your map and enhanced learning. Gain 30% more experience points. Hmm. Public trust doubles public earned trust points. What do I need public trust for? Empathetic processing highlights favorable dialogue options and impact lowers outcome thresholds for the main character. Interesting, All right? Combat shockwave, reloading strike, enhanced shockwave, damage reduction, auto regeneration, fuse box recovery. All right, let's see. I want. Uh, well, let's see. Um, I should probably get to enhanced learning as soon as possible to get the most experience points as early on to upgrade my character. I've only got three points right now, so I can't get all the way there now. But I could get three skills right now. Psychology. I'm going to have to spend two points to double my earned public trust. I should probably spec into that early to maximize my earned public trust. Chris Simpson says, I recommend leveling deduction. The XP bonus will give you more skill points before the end. Also, it makes it marks crates on your map that contain gun upgrades. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I definitely want deduction and scanning. Well, no. Focus, because if I can activate slow motion, I can save more hostages. <laughs> so focus, engineering. Oh, God, there's so many great ones. All right, I can get enhanced public trust now. And then I can start working towards deduction. Marine 98 says, Ox, you can have your Chronicle Fallout 4 lore. I just want Ron Perlman to do the openings. Maybe make an appearance as the mysterious stranger. That would be a lot of fun. All right, we'll start moving into deduction. Okay. Oh, there's my map. Okay. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh... My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. 
I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side, your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. <laughs> but we... He's so goofy looking, and I love every bit about it. Well, Report to the shooting range. Didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. I just did the shooting range. Oh, I gotta go do the shooting range again. Oh well, I just need to try it out. I don't have to beat my last score. Chad is saying that I need to make sure to go to the front desk. Ooh, what's this? RoboCop program. Objective. The program's main purpose is to produce an advanced 24-hour mechanical police officer, a hybrid of cybernetic technology and a human brain. The element that sets the program apart from others is the human donor, an experienced police officer whose abilities and professional experience will be integrated into the machine's onboard computer, all that is made possible through the use of a donor's brain. Details, Division Security Concepts, Director Bob Morton, Unit Name, OCP Crime Prevention Unit 001, Robocop, Human Donor, Alex Murphy. And I got a bit of lore. All right, so I'll make sure to go to the front desk, and then I need to go to the range, and then I think I'm good to go. Is there any more lore around here? Just making sure. Only got to do this once. All right. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be goners. Murphy, oh, wow. could you please help me out here? The line is getting longer. What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Oh, great. Take the spot on the podium. You're Admin. a lifesaver, Robo. Oh, man. This is great. Open a new line. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile to the work. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. <laughs> Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. <laughs> anyway. You do something about my neighbors. <laughs> we could say, you disrupt the public order, issue a ticket, or say no, issue a warning. <laughs> we'll start by issuing a warning. No, but I will let you off with a warning. That's mine. I don't mind paying the price of having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. Fire! Fire! I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so... Here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. 
Fine, but I still get the reward, right? Oh, this guy's a genius. We can say, no you don't, or you can hope for a reduced sentence. <laughs> guy's an idiot. <laughs> He's not doing it out of the goodness of his heart. He's not turning himself in. He's just trying to get money. He's not turning himself in because he has remorse and guilt. He just wants money, so I'm going to say, no, you do not. No. You cops don't appreciate honesty. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, so in the last one... I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. We could say come back within 24 hours or provide me details. Let's do that. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. <gasps> Yikes! Well, that was awful. Thanks for the help, Murphy. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, your son was found dead two hours ago. Next! <laughs> Aw, poor lady. Yeah, there he is, wanted, Anthony Harris. Reward, $2,000. Well, he's not getting a bit of that money. All right, so we just came from the locker room. Uh, we need to go to the range again. I wish I would have known that before I wasted time there. Is there anything else around here? We explored that already. Let's see if there's anything else up top. Aha! Incident report. Type of incident missing body. Person reporting Nancy McGuire. Officer filing report Michael Brigg. Description of event. Mrs. McGuire's husband's body has gone missing during transport to Hawthorne's funeral home. Moreover, there is no information on such delivery in the funeral home's records. Additional comments. It's a third report on a missing cadaver this week. We need to look into it. Does that open up a side quest or is it just foreshadowing for a future quest? Okay. I think that's it. Let's uh, report to the shooting range. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. All right, well, we're doing this again. Well, so you call the ready. No problem to you. I'll try and whip through this. Fifty, unless you want to try to break the record. What's the record? So I can leave at any time?
91. I think we got in the 400s last time. Seven. Ah, ah, ah. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that we're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Okay, now we're done. Ah, that's stupid. Lay off. Sorry, sorry. Let's find a staircase. There's a staircase. Oh, there it is. Okay, three ring room. So, what's on today? It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. You Enough. go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. OK. In uh, Robocop 2. There was a, a Little League baseball team that was raiding a shop. And the, the little baseball players with bats were beating the shop, uh, the shopkeeper, and raiding all of his candy and goods. It was ridiculous. Like, the kids in, in Detroit are, are a menace. They're just insane. And they're at the arcade, too. All right, so we need to go down to leave the precinct. Let's get in the car. And ahead to the arcade. Hopefully we won't find any kids making a ruckus. ready for you, Robo. Go get her. All right. City, didn't you? <laughs> It'd be easier to burn it all, all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. All right, the search for soot. We need to go that way. Exactly how open is this open world, I wonder? Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Let's look around. Hey, what is this? Independent news number 14. In this issue, extraterrestrial marketing. 
Another commercial stuffed with subliminal messages is being filmed behind the courthouse. They won't fool us again. River littering trend. Or is it just a cover story to feed the sea monsters lurking just below the surface? Signs. Interstellars paint their names on buildings around the laundromat. That is how they will take ownership of the entire town unless we stop them. All right. Courthouse. Laundromat. River. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to <laughs> Melissa Kuzak. Sucks 6000. The shoes I found in the dumpster behind the mega store. I got 15 bucks for them. Shh, quiet. Unless you want to lose them. Okay, stolen car. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Check your map box, says I broke my hip. All right, I will. We could say delaying an investigation is a crime. You have not been arrested yet. That was not my intention. Or we can pass a psychology two check to say you're hiding something. Concealment of information detected. You think you can scare me with, with that technical mumbo jumbo? Come clean now or there will be serious repercussions. Okay, you win. So there's this boy, Scott. He works for me on and off. He might have something to do with your case. Let me open his locker for you. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. Oh, I will. Variety of car theft reckon? tools. Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Scott doesn't work here full time. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back. It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. 
Okay, find Scott's whereabouts. Wow, this is decorated immaculately. Even look at, look at all of the outlets and the extensions under there. Really great attention to detail, and there's nothing here. <laughs> Just an amazing set piece. Okay, stolen vehicle. Search for Scott. Search for, search for Soot. All right, so this is the map. Oh, wow. Pretty big. Uh, okay. So this is the building I just explored? Yeah. I guess if the building is blacked out, I can't go inside and explore it. So that includes this one. Shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. TJ Laser Resurrection. That's the TV show his son was really interested in. How far can I go this way? Looks like there's a building over here we can explore, and slums over here. See, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to get sidetracked. They're listening. I'm gonna get lost in the city. I should probably focus on the quest because I'm sure other quests will bring me to other parts of the city in time. No short-term investments, not in this market. We're looking at an annual return of 9.2% if you diversify your portfolio based on the volatility report. Deferred profit shares are where it's at. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But, uh, but you're homeless. <laughs> Not the conversation I expected in the slum. Hey. Stolen wallet. Looks like I can go in this building. See if we can find a door to it. Or maybe I can't go in it until later, until I unlock a quest that takes me there. Wow, this is just expansive. They really let you explore a big chunk of this city. Pretty cool. Drinking in public. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. I don't think so. We could issue, issue a ticket or I see your point <laughs> and issue a warning. Let's do that. I will let you go this time, but remember that drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> I serve the public trust. Aww. And he goes to sleep. Poor guy. <laughs> I'll let him off with a warning. Oh, really, man? You're my best friend. I love you. <laughs> you really mean that? <laughs> oh, man, you're the best, I swear. We'll let those two lovebirds have at it. Okay. Hello. Hey, stolen handbags, stolen wallets, stolen jewelry, stolen purse. Yeah. Getting all the loot. 
pays to explore. Well, this building is hashed off like the other one, but I can't enter it. I bet you I'll come here later. And if that's the case, then it's not going to pay for me to go off and explore every location right now. I should explore them as I come here during the course of the quest. So let's focus on the car theft quest for now. And we'll come back later. What are you doing? Oh, graffiti. Kuzark stinks. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man. Hint program. Press right clip to use Robocop vision to investigate individuals or objects. All right, he's gone. Okay, well, he. I'm not seeing anything here. Well, I mean, one thing about Robocop is he is not fast. Oh. With a trace of paint. But he's a good tracker. <laughs> so what, what what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? He just did it the once. I'm not going to fall for that. You're being fined. You are being fined $100 for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I, I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. You made an enemy out of the graffiti artist. That's Whoops. an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score. Oh, no. Oh, I might need him as an informant later. Ooh, that's an interesting twist. Okay, so if I let criminals off with petty crimes, they may become useful later when I'm trying to solve serious crimes. I should have thought of that. Yo, kid, boss was not impressed with what you did with that SUX, but he's a reasonable guy. I'm going to let you keep your nimble fingers as long as you show up in the chop shop before nightfall. You must be Scott. 
What did you do with the blue SUX6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Your actions have consequences, or the best thing to do is confess. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is going to save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. <laughs> I am literally Robocop Hello? standing here. He's like, Anybody no one's going to save us. Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only hide for so. It's the metal pick. But stop a place says evening ox. How's the game? It's, it's, a, machine. A, it's a lot of fun. It's a violent Put it game, but it's fun. They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. Mm. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. <clears throat> Who is responsible? Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs! They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. <laughs> I am backup. Okay, chop shop address changed. Was there anything in that room that he was hiding in? I didn't get a good chance to explore it. No. Okay. Where are we now? We're here. We explored this building. Can I mark my map? I can't. Stolen vehicle, search for soot. All right, we were up in this area. Let's go find the stolen vehicle. Oh, I'm telling you, officer, dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get. Bag of candies and not a box of chocolates? Ooh, issuing tickets. As a police officer, you can issue tickets for misdemeanors like public drinking and disorderly conduct, 
or traffic violations. Hold right to activate RoboCop vision to identify instances of law breaking. Hey, me found my guarantee. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. All right, keep my eye out for a missing tooth. Parking meter expired. <laughs> I issue a ticket. <laughs> for some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. Oh, wow, that was brilliant. I'm, I'm a ticket. I'm issuing tickets now. Look at this dude. Those people on the first floor are paranoid. They put blinds in the windows. Can't watch the TV no more. <sighs> well, paranoid for a reason, looks like. Wash and go. Oh, what's this? Is there a gold tooth lying around? Hey, what's this? Notice, if I catch any of you dope heads washing jelly beans or marbles just for kicks, I'll make you pay for the parts you wrecked. Wow, I never thought of that. Putting a bunch of jelly beans in a washer? Yeah. That would ruin it. Dad. What does eviction mean? And who's a debt collector? Why can't I open the door for him? Dad, tell me the truth. Are we poor? <laughs> Dad? Dad! Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but someone won't let you? Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared. Snoozers. Sleeping pills for kids. Just one pill can guarantee five <laughs> hours of peace. Nap time just became your decision. <laughs> Sleep tight, son. <gasps> oh, I'm tired. Oh. Because you deserve a peace of mind, too. <laughs> oh, my God. As a parent, I can so relate to this. Snoozers, sleeping pills for kids. You deserve peace of mind, too. <laughs> I love it. Evening, officer. I heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold and heartless. <laughs> Why do you think they promoted her in the first place? Wow, look at all the mo <clears throat> pardon me, the movement. The movement and the motion in this city. Trains up there and everything. Really well done. All right. Let's uh Let's track down these suckers. Bring some accountability to these punks. I am Robocop. Part man, part robot, all cop. I've got a flashlight. Well, I can't hit it. Oh. I can't hit it? All right. Find a way in. Well, well, well.
All right, I found incriminating pictures. Let's see what else we can find. Just pop. Deduction level two required. Oh, man. I'm going to have to come back here. After I improve my deduction. Open the safe, engineering level six. Oh man, I can't open the safe. I'm gonna have to come back here. Ugh. Vitality level two required, jeez. Okay, well, there's the car. Return to the streets. Well, I didn't explore this area down here, though, first. Well, I'm starting to think that I should really focus on the primary mission and not pick up these side missions because they're requiring a lot of skills that I don't have. I think I need to level up my character before I do them so that I have a better opportunity to complete most of them. And we got a handbag. Incriminating documents. Lots of goodies back here. And I think I explored this place already. Did I? No. Two skill points available. I found an OCP training disc. Uh, skills. Great. Enhanced scanning, enhanced map, enhanced learning. Um... Engineering. Cracking. I have to get all the way up here. But Savo Play says, you can't open that safe. You don't have the technology. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see if we can get this. Alright, can I scan that thing that was upstairs now? There's the car. What level of scanning did I need to open that door? Let's go try and find it again. Reach. Nice. Cool. Pay off. I broke my hips as level up box, and the safe code is on a sticky note. Use RoboVision. Was the safe? Was it down here? Was it upstairs? Oh, it's over there. Okay, where's this uh, post-it note? I'm using RoboVision, but I don't see a post-it note. Well, was it behind the wall that I breached? God, this guy walks like a tank. It's just thud, 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 thud. Scan, says chat. I am scanning. I'm holding right click. I'm scanning and nothing is coming up. I don't think I've updated my scanner high enough to be able to find it yet. See, I'm scanning. Oh. Oh. Note with safe co code combination. There it is. All right, thank you, chat. Wow, I'm gonna have to be very careful. And explore every nook and cranny.
All right. Oh my god, so clumsy. I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Do we trust him? The other guy said that he was a good kid. He just got mixed up with a bad crowd. Let's say you can retrieve the car yourself. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much. I promise I won't mess this up. I serve the public trust. All right. I am RoboCop. I serve the public trust. All right, let's focus on the primary quest. I'm sure I'll be coming back here quite a lot. TJ Laser, Project Doom. Can we arrest hookers? If you feel lonely, you know where to find me, officer. They're not even ashamed. They're not even trying to hide it. Wow. Okay, Arcade Game Club. Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Maybe we can find incriminating evidence to get a warrant. Or just enter the basement. Chad is saying that once I leave this area, I won't be able to come back, so I need to do everything I can while I'm here. Oh. Cloud Big says once you leave an area, you won't come back. Do all you can before leaving. Okay, will do. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? We could say stay in school. <laughs> you lack discipline. Or think of your future. School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. Future? Look on the street. 
You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Oh, well, I didn't get any information out of him. Not everybody responds well to reason. Scan results expelled gastric content irrelevant to the case. Ew. Ew, yuck. Slouching detected, irrelevant to the case. <laughs> Slouching detected. our kids like this. Bloodshot eyes caused by sleep, sleep deprivation irrelevant to the case. Big arcade. A syringe with traces of hinge lubricant. Irrelevant to the case? Someone used a syringe to apply hinge lubricant? What, to a door? That's weird. I mean, the alternative is that somebody is injecting hinge lubricant. What, like WD-40? Oh, I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one but two of you? From now on, I promise, I will cherish you more often. Right. Psychoactive substance misuse detected in... Your body readings <laughs> suggest substance misuse. Oh, man, a real-life TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. <laughs> would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! He sounds so pissed off, too. He's like, drugs in the basement? Is Disgusting! The ocean? I will take care of that. Oh, this place is a hovel. Just absolutely gross. Okay, we've got definite probable cause here. Hello. Business letter. <clears throat> Soot, my business partner. Recently, your men started to act, shall we say, unusually? They're questioning each other about what it is to be a true torchhead, like they're looking for a snitch, but there can't be one in such a thoughtfully managed criminal enterprise as yours. They're probably wondering why no cop came knocking after your live show, which, by the way, was truly great TV. They should know that the cops are afraid of you. Jostling among yourselves is bad for business. Maybe you could have a word with them, just to keep those productivity juices flowing. Your humble partner. New clue obtained. I think that's everything. Time to knock down a door. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Boom! Oh! That 
was a crunch. Ooh. Robocop does not mess around. It's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. Watch out! Keep your chance! Light him up! Bad guys. I can grab chairs. <laughs> I can just throw things around in the environment. I love it. Stolen jewelry. this little SMG. Nuke. Say nuke or get lost. Tell the buyers to stop using made-up names for nuke. None of this double cheese, Auntie N, hot sauce, body bags, and red stinking whatever. It only makes my guys confused, and that's bad for business. Pigs can't do crap, so there's no need to speak in code. These dope heads either buy nuke or jack all. Your lovely, lovely superstardom boss, S. I'm guessing that's a new clue. Something back there. Oh. This thing is on a track. Huh, I don't see a mechanism to get it to move, though. Just lots of chairs I can throw around. Well, uh, I guess I'll figure that out later. Hmm. Open the door or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, 
Shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! We could pass the psychology of two to say warriors would not hide, or we could use a clue to say there is a traitor in your midst. One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? Shit! You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! <laughs> Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Hmm, <clears throat> uh... Is everything a transaction to you? Does everything you do have to come with a benefit? I'm a businessman. That's the only language I speak. How about the value of your life? Who would care more to save it, police or soot? Let's say I'm convinced. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Yay, we can lock him up. He's getting kids on drugs, the jerk. Going to prison for a long time. All right, let's see if I can find a button or something that, oh, oh, oh hey, look at that. Hey, I think, ah, found it. Bingo. Oh, another safe. Hello. Safe key. Combination. All right. Installation invoice, $62 desk button, $2,340 armored gate, $580 installation total, $2,982. Thank you for choosing Security Innovations Company. All right. Let's go see what's on the other side of that gate. Stay here. Dispatch, requesting a squad car. Right, we got the loot. Stolen jewelry, stolen handbag, stolen purse, stolen wallet. Ah, new skill point available. Just one though. All right, why am I trying to get to this next level of deduction? This is gonna give me enhanced map, marks the locations of valuable items on your map. And enhanced learning, gain 30% more experience points. Yeah, that's my priority. I've got to get up to that. Though I could unlock the first level of each of these really easily. Scanning, ricochet, <laughs> slow motion, dash, fuse boxes recovery. You can use fuse boxes to recover up to 50% of your health. Eh. Uh, shield... And Shockwave stuns near my enemies for a short time. We'll just keep working on deduction. Get there. Okay, to the next site.
cleaning up the streets one scumbag at a time. Okay. Ah, this is the building I was trying to enter earlier. I knew it. What's this? Chop shop. Already done that. That's the laundromat. We already went there. All right. Well, let's go search for soot. Let's take the alley and see if we find anything. Whoa, hello. Hey. Lots of nuke. All right. <clears throat> Glad we took an alleyway. Mind your own business, cop. What's this? Oh, parked in front of a fire hydrant? For shame. That is against the law. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. <laughs> and they gave me a skill point. I upheld the law. All right, one more. One more to go, and then I get enhanced map. All right. What is that? What is this? Could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Yeah, I hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threatened to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. There is also nothing wrong with breaking criminal bones. The music is too loud, or I can help turn off the radio and destroy the radio. Let's try the music is too loud first. The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Destroy the radio. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's but brand new! I've only stole- Ha! Ah. That- Worked. Thanks, officer. You're welcome. The store clerk will no longer be harassed. All right. <clears throat> Blue Thunders has got any favorite phrases in Robocop box? <laughs> I mean, uh, not yet. He always says something really silly. He just calls them punks and slime bags and stuff like that. An alleyway back there. I wonder if there's anything in that alleyway. Whoa. It's getting that? colder. And now we don't have anything for the fire. Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? Reverend Coyote says, dead or alive, you're coming with me. That's true. That is his catchphrase. Let's see what's up there. Hey. 
goodies. <laughs> so cheesy, I love it. Okay, I was coming down here because I saw something highlighted down there. I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you getting in. This guy's a police enthusiast. What have we here? Hmm. Unauthorized painting. That's all it is. Well, we are way on the other side of town. And I can't enter any of those buildings. Uh, I can enter that one. All right, well, we need to go way over there. Let's loop around here. Something's coming. I can feel it. Have hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Something's coming, all right. Ooh. Don't want any part in that. This place is huge. Help! Help! This rascal was trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Civilian harassment. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. It cannot be tolerated or I'll let it go this time. Let's issue a ticket. Lesson for the future, to save yourself the trouble. Clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Crime evidence 25, and I upheld the law. Oh, yeah. Where am I going now? I'm going way up here. Ah. How did I get over here? Today, the whole nation mourns the loss of Mr. Pinky, host of America's most beloved children's show, Growing Up with Mr. Pinky. Oh no. He was brutally murdered by a motorcycle gang in a Chicago brothel after a heroin smuggling gone wrong. <laughs> Oh, everyone's favorite children TV host. <laughs> Murdered in a brothel after a heroin thing went wrong. That's a... Godly. This game is dark. Oh, hold on, what's that? <laughs> Mr. Pinky. <laughs> Whoa, throwing rocks. That's a danger. No, he's littering. Unauthorized garbage disposal. Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. That sounds like a you problem. You violated the law. Oh man. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage and now I have to pay for removing it myself? That's ridiculous. The moral is... Stay away from fishy activity. Oh, come on.
Come on, Robocop. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I was confused. I wouldn't have issued him a ticket had I known that um, it wasn't his fault that his garbage didn't get collected. He said that he missed garbage collection. I thought that meant that it was his fault, but no, he says that the garbage collectors just didn't show up. Fishy activity. All right, well, there's gotta be something going on down here. Uh, yeah, let's go all the way down, see if we can find anything. The river, river walk. We saw something on the notes that said something about the river. The river, the courthouse, and then some other place. Yeah, what's going on over here? Well, this looks fishy. I can't do anything about that. Mr. Virus says, can he jump? He cannot. He has Robocop. He has no need for jumping. Jumping is for chumps. Chumps with souls. He's a cop who doesn't need to jump. Is that the courthouse? That we read about? Oh, we went through there. Yeah. Getting all the goodies. Hello. Okay, we're on our way back. Let's do the big loop over here. Hey, this area is off limits. You need permission to get in or a warrant. Is this is a film set? Oh. Huh. All right. Maybe we'll get a warrant. If we can find one. Well, maybe we'll come back to that later. This looks like a seedy alley. Oh, yeah. What is this? Garage door. With loot. Oh yeah. Getting all the loot. I want another radio. <laughs> I could listen to news reports all day. Okay, that was the grocery store, the motel. Well, I'm not gonna leave the area just yet. I've got a lot to do. if I can uh, enter the freeway. You cannot leave this area now. Continue with the main objective. Guess I can't enter the freeway. Think I'll be back there.
Alright, there's the auto repair. Explored all of this. Ghost house. Find the police informant. You need to be taught some manners. are just so gross. You get a headshot and it's just splat. Oh! Damn, he had a big gun. Wow, he had a machine gun. Jeez. Yes. Or up there? Oh no, right, I can't jump. <laughs> rifle. It's just too much. I hope they have more than just those three guns. Can I pick up this sucker? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like Wolfenstein. <laughs> yes. Interrupting me while I'm trying to heal.
Fake ID. All right, we're gonna blast through a wall here. Somebody throwing explosives. Safe. See if we can find a code. Probably gonna be upstairs somewhere. Robocop doesn't take fall damage. Oh man, but how do I open the safe? Doc got it. Did I miss the code somewhere?
Oh yeah. Oh no, that's the one I dropped. There's another one up here though, right? Yeah, there it is. There we are. Okay, I need to go there for the quest, but what's up here? I guess this is how I get out once I complete the quest. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. <clears throat> we could say it is your civic duty to help. We could say I do not work for free either. What is your freedom worth to you? Let's try that. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Great story, Pickles. Hello. Ooh, OCP weapon upgrade chip. Dead end Omni. Huh. I wonder what all of that does. Right, we gotta escort him out. Uh, well, we're not going back the way we came. That was an elevator drop. So, it looks like we're going out this uh, staircase that I found earlier. Let's go, Pickles! Oh. We are back here. Do I still have my machine gun? Maybe we can find the combination for that safe. Let's do a once over really quickly. I just don't want to miss anything. Now that we're not distracted by combat.
Well, so far, nothing's popping out to me. Usually, they keep the combinations on the same level as the safe, so it's gotta be up here somewhere. But you know what, it's possible that not every safe has a combination lying around, which is why they want me to spec into engineering. Yeah, there's the safe. I scoured this area. Well, bummer. I don't think I'm gonna find it. Well, I suppose we could come back if we manage to upgrade engineering before we leave this area. And again, it's just one safe. Oh. How'd I miss that? All right, all right, I'll stop looking. Got pickles. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. So they are connected. Hmm? How do you know Briggs? How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great <laughs> ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. I love how uh, Robocop is so tall that when he's talking to people, he sees them chin up because they're all so short compared to him. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but <laughs> still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. Um. Uh, let's meet there later.
Oh, Apex Cove says now. All right, now. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Okay, is this my checkpoint? Tell you what, let's enter the house. I think that'll trigger a checkpoint. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm going to have to end it here. I'm out of time. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for Scotch and Smoke Rings and episode one of RoboCop. We had a few internet hiccups earlier on, but they seem to, uh, seem to have resolved themselves. And I'm having an awful lot of fun with this. It's cheesy, it's silly, but it's so much fun. And uh, I hope you guys will join me next week for more RoboCop. Hope you enjoyed the lore video this morning. I am working. I'm sorry. It wasn't a lore video. Well, it kind of was a lore video, but it was more of just a, a vent video. I was venting. But I am working on a lore video, the next episode in the full story of Fallout 4, which I hope to publish this Saturday. Saturday morning, that's the plan. So I'm going to get to work on that tomorrow. Wish me luck. I think I'll get it done in time. Uh, but that's it for me tonight. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.